In this short video, you're going to learn about triggers and storyline. Triggers are what make the program do what it's going to do. It tells storyline when and what to do. So let's get started. If you saw the previous episode, you know that this activity is designed to teach learners to determine what is trash and what is recyclable. When we're finished, learners will drag the garbage to the appropriate bin to indicate whether it's recyclable or not. In the previous episode, we already added hover states to the object and added four feedback layers. In this episode, we're gonna add triggers to tell Storyline when to show which layer. Additionally, we're gonna add a hide this layer when the timeline ends to each layer. The first step to creating a trigger is to click the create a new trigger icon here. All triggers have an action that you can see here, which is the thing that will happen and it has a when that describes when the action will be triggered, which describes the event that will trigger the action. I'll click the current action to show you what the action options are. Here you can see all the different actions that you can use to create triggers in Storyline. You'll use these depending on the instructional design and what you're trying to accomplish. Now let's take a look at the when options. To access the when options, I'll click the current when trigger like this. Here you can see all the when events that you can tell Storyline to use to trigger an action. Again, you'll use these depending on the instructional design and what you're trying to get the learners to do. Now I'll cancel this window just so we can look at the current triggers. The trigger pane will show you all the existing triggers that this slide is using. I always think of the trigger pane as the story. When you have a bunch of triggers here, you can scroll through this and read the story that the slide is telling. Now, let's say we don't want an existing trigger like this one. To delete it, you first click on it like this and then you press the delete icon. And then we'll say yes to this pop-up window. And now it's gone. That's how you delete a trigger in Storyline. But this video is about adding triggers. So I'm gonna go back to the create new trigger icon. We're gonna add a trigger that tells Storyline to show a layer when the learner drops the object in the correct or incorrect spots. So remember, to change an action, you click the existing action like this, and then select a trigger that you want. For us, it's gonna be show layer. Now, once you change the action, you'll notice that, that there are additional things under the action. In this case, it added the layer option. That is there for us to select the layer, but keep in mind, this is how actions function. Once you select one, you'll wanna see what is added below it so that you can change and adjust it as necessary in order to do that action. You can think of this as asking you to what? You create an action, and then it's asking you that action to what? So the action is the what, the added option tells you what you want the action done to. And to change that, you click on the existing one like this. For this one, I'm gonna show the layer feedback apple correct. Now let's change the when. To change the when, you click on the existing one like this. Now I'm gonna scroll down to the user drops option, since we want to show the layer when the user drops the apple on the trash bin. Changing the when changes the options. In this case, we need to select the object we want dropped on something and on what. To do that, I'll click the drop down arrow like this, and then select the object that I want dropped, which is the apple. You can see why it's helpful to name the object so we don't get confused, but if you don't, Storyline helps you by putting the red outline around the object that your mouse is hovering over. When you find the one you want, just click it like this. Now we need to do the same thing to the target. See, I didn't name the trash bin, but when we hover over picture two, it highlights it for me. Since I want that one, I'll click it. The final step, is to review the trigger to make sure it's telling Storyline to do the right thing when you want it done. You'll notice the condition field. We aren't covering that in this video, but essentially allow you to say to do an action when an event happens, but only if certain conditions are met. For this example, the trigger says what we want it to say, so I'll click OK. Now you can see the trigger in the trigger pane. Now we're gonna do the same thing for each of the layers. So I'm gonna copy this trigger by clicking the copy icon and then clicking the paste icon. Using the copy paste button saves you a bit of time, but I still need to make the trigger specific to what I want it to do. I can do that by clicking the links and changing them like this. So for this example, let's change the show layer to be feedback fries correct. And we want this to happen when the user drops fried trash on picture three, not two. So I'll click the picture two link and I'll change it. I'll do this for the other triggers that we need. There you go. We've added two triggers. Now we need to add the rest of them. So give me a second and I'll do that. All right, I have added all four triggers. I know that was fast, but I cut things out a little bit for you. So you don't have to watch it. Now we wanna add triggers to the layers. So the first thing we're gonna do is click the layer that we want to add a trigger to. 
You'll notice the trigger section doesn't have any triggers on the layers. That is because you are seeing the triggers for the current layer, not the base layer that we just worked on, which as of right now, there should be none and there are none, so we're good. Let's add a hide this layer when the timeline ends trigger to this layer. The process is exactly the same. You just gotta make sure that you're on the right layer, which we are. I'll click the create a new trigger icon and then I'll set it up the way we need to. So I'll do that now. And there you go. I have created this trigger on this layer and I'm gonna copy it so that I can add it to the rest of the layers. All right, I've added all the triggers to all the layers, so let's preview this. Let's see what happens when I drop the apple on the trash can. That looks like it's functioning correctly. Let's try the fry container. There we go, that's functioning as it should too. Now you know how to create triggers. Be sure to give this a try if you have a Storyline license. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you want more practical tips to improving your learning strategy. Looking to bring a real change to your team's learning and development? Then you need Legacy Learning Consulting. We're all about creating custom learning strategies that truly make a difference. Whether you're aiming to boost team performance or enhance leadership skills, we've got you covered. Dive into what we offer by visiting LegacyLearningConsultingLLC.com. Start crafting your team's legacy in learning with us today. That's LegacyLearningConsultingLLC.com. We can't wait to work with you. Schedule a time to discuss with Jason in the episode description below.